The wrath of the Queen welcomes you, Guardian. You are cleared to dock at the Queen's Bay. Hello, welcome to our stream. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I'm Deej from Bungie, and it's my pleasure to introduce you to the panel that we have on hand for a reveal of The Reef in the House of Wolves. I'm joined by Christopher Barrett, creative director at Bungie. Hello, everybody. And of course, when we arranged an audience with the Queen's Guard, we felt it only appropriate that King Gathalion would join us in the reef. No raid! What? Hey, how's it going? Hey, uh, how you doing? I'm what? good. I'm so good. Good. There's like barely anybody watching. I can I can feel you tense right now. No, no, yeah. no. I'm, no, I'm fine. Okay. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm looking at our chat window. We're, we're not, we're not at all shaky. Yeah. We're good. <laughs> we're fine. It's good. We're relaxed and happy to be here. Happy that you're here as well. Absolutely. So our goal today is to show you the new social space that's going to be the hub of activity and your experiences in the House of Wolves and also give you uh, a view of what the House of Wolves will mean for everything that you own and everything that you are in Destiny. So we're going to expose you to the new activities, the characters who will send you out back into action and also give you an idea as to what accomplishing all of those things will mean for the gear that you currently own. Mm -hmm. So we are here in the reef. Can I die here? <laughs> you can die everywhere. I died here. I went through there. I am, I became ethereal for a second. That's good. <laughs> I'm back. Don't worry. Good. It's all good. Yeah. Are you? I'm back. Yeah. All we're right. good. So, enough of this mass suicide. Okay. You both. You both died within the first ten <laughs> seconds. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is so hard. Let's go. Playing games is hard. All right. Where to? So, um, the first thing we're going to do is, um, I'd love to give our audience a sense of. Uh, why you're the perfect person to speak to us about the House of Wolves and to introduce them to this experience. So okay. you have been the creative director on Destiny when it was uh, a basic idea and a few sketches on a piece of paper, yeah? Yeah, I did uh, uh, art direction on the first game, so I'm uh, very familiar with the universe. I've mm -hmm. been working on it for yeah, seven years now, something like that, so yeah, the, uh, the opportunity to, to work on this expansion has been awesome. So. Super excited for it. Well, let's hope it's worth it. <laughs> Ready. So we're going to meet some of the story agents that... Uh, Are we RP walking there? Yes. We're, okay. we're, we had a slow walk, though. Okay. Gotta, gotta make that, it. We're at a jog right now. Yeah. We need to slow we it down. Catch up. Slow it down. It cool. catch up. Make it cool. So All this right. is the domain of the Queen and the Awoken. Talk mm -hmm. to us a little bit about why the reef? Why at this moment in time are we coming into the reef? And, and why is this the focal point of our story? Sure. So um, the Fallen... Uh, House of Wolves has been sort of under uh, uh, control of the uh, Queen, um, as you probably saw in uh, some of the cinematics in yeah. Destiny 1. So um, the House of Wolves has rebelled and has, uh, um, as you've seen in the trailer, uh, killed a bunch of the Queen's guard. And that's bad. Yeah, that's okay, bad. that's bad. That's bad. We don't <laughs> yes, want that. Yes. Yeah. Rebellion, bad betrayal. Bad for the Queen, bad for us, good for the Fallen. Sure. Um, and so... Uh, the House of Wolves has spread out into the galaxy, causing all kinds of mayhem, and uh, Petra and the Queen have called you, uh, the Guardians, to the Reef to, to help out. And there's Petra. Yep. People so will remember her probably from, uh, the the, if they uh, remember the Queen's point. Wrath uh, in uh, back uh, many months ago. Mm -hmm. uh, she is now uh, in, the, in the Reef. What happened to her eye? <laughs> <laughs> all will be Gone revealed, now. all will be revealed I in time. I need to know. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, and she has uh, her mask off as well. Uh, yeah. So Petra, um, she's the main story agent for the House of Wolves. She's going to send you on that path to revenge. Uh, inspecting her inventory here, she's got uh, some new bounties for us. Those are all the most notorious uh, House of Wolves. Uh, people are going to wonder if these are just rehashes of the, uh, the Queen's Wrath bounty that happened uh, later last year. Yeah, they are not. They are all new. All Success! New. <laughs> And she's got some uh, fancy things we can use to dress ourselves up with. Mm -hmm. She's got some shaders. She does have the shaders from the Queen's Wrath Bounty, so I'll no longer be special with my rose gold. You will notice I am wearing, yeah. uh, what am I wearing? Which one Queen's is one of them? On you, Guardian. It's very pink. Provincial Royal. Provincial. That, that's just a, that's a basic shader. Yeah. Yeah, why is it? it be so basic? Oh, oh well. Okay. I have it on my other character. Sure. 
see. She's got a pretty couple nice shaders here as well that are not from previously. Queen's Wrath rank three. Yep. I like so those a lot. And uh, the uh, Awoken Ship. I don't know. Did you notice that on there? I did notice that. I was getting ready to look at it. That That's quite a, a view <laughs> of that. What is... That is, uh, it's one of my favorite ships for sure, so I want to make sure that... Does uh, it have all the fun flags off of it? Doesn't look like it does. No. Ah, oh, those were fun. You gotta be a part of the Queen's Guard. Good luck. Okay. To get the banners. <laughs> so, fans have seen this space before. There was uh, a reveal of our game all the way back in 2013. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, there's then, been a lot of... And you locked all that on disc, right? Yeah. Well, that's, you know, definitely... Uh, <laughs> Definitely one of the fans' suspicions, one of mm -hmm. the community's suspicions, sure. is that all this stuff has been held in reserve. But uh, talk to us a little bit about the actual creative process sure. for the House of Wolves. Sure, yeah. The, uh, we had an early prototype of this space. Um, it's a place we've always wanted to go. Uh, the the reef is now. a really cool uh, place in the lore, and uh, we knew we wanted to go here sometime. I guess we made a prototype of it. Um, we decided the uh, House of Wolves story territory. was a great time to uh, um, pull, bring that back. You know, use it as a starting point, but we uh, rebuilt it from scratch. All uh, all the new content uh, tailored specifically for the House of Wolves, uh, all the new vendor areas, all the new characters. Um, so uh, yeah, it was a great Please great starting point. Uh, but resolve uh, sand yeah, eater bounty. I always wanted to Birth visit the reef. Uh, so is there going to be more story and lore this time around compared to like the Dark Below? So uh, Petra will be your uh, main. Uh, main uh, story agent, I guess. Sure. So um, she will lead you through a series of quests and mm -hmm. the story, the main story of the House of Wolves. Um, yeah, we definitely wanted to make a really uh, coherent, uh, really, uh, um, really fun story that I think uh, um, has you hunting down these yeah. uh, House of Wolves. And so I think, uh, yeah, I mean, there's plenty of story. The, uh, the uh, Petra and uh, a few other characters we'll meet uh, shortly will guide you on your adventures through those uh, A lot of people argue quests. that the lore is excellent in the game, but it's all locked away in like, grimoire cards and things like that that mm -hmm. you have to get like through a third party mm -hmm. situation. Um, is that something that we could ever viably see in game? Like uh, actually be able to look at our lore in game? As far as grimoire cards go, yeah. and, like it gr in grimoire integration into the game yeah. is... Uh, you know, it's something that we've heard. It's a piece yeah. of feedback that we've heard from the community. Mm -hmm. In the House of Wolves, having played it myself, um, I like a lot of the quests. I like a lot of the stories. Um, I like the fact that uh, a lot of the new story missions mm -hmm. represent some of the most interesting moments and some of the most interesting aspects of Destiny. But as far as grimoire integration into the game, it's not an announcement we're making right now. Mm -hmm. um, I can tell you that um, this is a fresh approach to storytelling in sure. the game. And uh, a lot of work has been done on the House of Wolves since we've launched Destiny. And uh, to me, it really feels like an adaptation to our creative process as developers, as storytellers, and uh, you know, a reaction to what players have liked and okay. what they've enjoyed. Sure. One thing I want to ask about Petra is one thing we remember from her when she was in the tower is that she had all sorts of cool weapons and armor pieces and things like that. Uh -huh. uh, are we going to have the chance to earn that stuff again? Yeah, there'll be a full set of uh, Queen's Wrath uh, armor and gear, armor and weapons uh, mm -hmm. that uh, you can acquire in the uh, Prison of Elders. Okay. Is that acquired through drops or is that something? Yep. Yep, those drop directly in the uh, Prison of Elders. Okay, well they'll have the same level light as, say, the 36, what is it, 38 light we're going to or something? Or? Yep, those will be uh, uh, on par with the um, the rest of the 30 content. 34, well, yeah, level 34 yes. light, but yes. the, number, the amount of light on the gear, mm -hmm. whatever it is. We'll, uh, we'll inspect all that in a little bit. Cool. Uh, on the subject of the Prison of Elders, uh, you can see that uh, the warden for the Prison of Elders is uh, Variks. Mm -hmm. He is a uh, fallen from the House of Judgment. So uh, what is the House of Judgment, and why is this bastard allowed to be in the tower with all <laughs> of us guardian folk? Sure, he has, uh, he is, the House of Judgment is one of the uh, very old uh, houses of, of the fallen. Mm -hmm. um, he is one of the only known uh, remaining uh, uh, fallen from the House of Judgment. Um, he's gone through a few uh, trials himself. He's uh, missing a few arms there. They're now replaced with some mechanical arms. So he has kind of uh, been loyal to the queen. Um, mm -hmm. And so he was able to sort of stick around. He's sort of an informant in some ways. He's also uh, um, someone who, who runs the prison of elders. Um, trying to think, I, I'm, I'm super excited to have uh, Fallen uh, be one of the uh, characters you interact with. It's such a cool, uh, 
Uh, the fawn is such a cool race, and to be able to get right up close and have uh, to be able to talk to them and have them. Right yeah. There's there's some interesting uh, bonuses on the gear that he has here. Uh, first off, he's got the uh, what is it? The judgment chance. Which uh, where do you where do you get those? The armored cores and weapon cores. Sure. Yeah, those will drop from the uh, from the prison of elders. Okay. So, uh, is there a as limit on how many times a week we can run that? Yep. Uh, you'll have uh, there'll be lockout weekly lockouts and there'll okay. be uh, multiple. We'll talk more about it when we get into sure. the prison of elders. Sure, sure. But there'll sure. be um, there'll be multiple challenges that you can partake and get uh, get drops, and then uh, you can turn them into barracks for uh, the high level gear. And there's also some uh, some fun new uh, uh, perks to them. Shank burn. I'm noticing on this auto rifle. Which yep. isn't a pea shooter, so thanks for that. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's actually got decent impact on it instead of being high fire rate with nil impact as we've been used to. Right. <coughs> Necrochasm. <laughs> so yeah, we have a, a full suite of uh, all fallen themed, uh, you know, uh, class items. We have ships, mm -hmm. uh, one from uh, each house, which is uh, pretty cool. You've got the House of Winter. You've got the House of Devils. Um, you can collect all the different ships. Um, also have um, shaders specific to those houses. Okay. So you can dress like your favorite fallen. Sure. Does his inventory uh, rotate? Uh, so uh, right. So each week there'll be different uh, rewards uh, up at the top where it says Prison of Elders. You'll sure. have. Sure. Uh, well, that's fun. Okay. Yep. And then, like any component of the Destiny Endgame, that stuff has a weekly reset. Mm -hmm. Yep. Like the Nightfall strikes, like mm -hmm. things like that. And we really wanted to uh, introduce the ability to sort of preview the gear that you'll be able to win instead of it sort of being hidden, like, you know, uh, not sure what you're going to get. Like, okay. that's why we're showing some of the items on his inventory himself, so you can kind of uh, that's awesome. know what you're looking for and kind of work towards it. Yeah. And of course, uh, you know, you'll also have the, uh, um, you know, some secrets awaiting inside the Prison of Elders Less itself. Less chance in the progression yeah. system, like, yeah. But you're also, you know, obviously there'll always be... Uh, Is his inventory going to run on a pattern or be RNG-based? It is... I don't know. I'm not positive on that. I think uh, My I think it's the queen. boom. Yeah, <laughs> oh, that did it. You stumped us. Well, done. so actually, well done. So we want to make sure. I think it's it's actually a pattern. We want to make sure that um, if you, if you're playing uh, consistently, sort of like how Iron Banner is, where it's like you can yep. more or less guess when yep yep it's going to be the right week. Sure. Right. Yep. We want to make sure that people can, if they're playing constantly and playing the Prison of Elders, they can work through and collect all the gear eventually. So yeah, we don't want the same uh, pants coming up, you know, four times sure. in a row. Yeah, so, yeah, 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 absolutely. Okay, yeah. cool. Diversity. Variety, but predictability. I, I as know well. exactly what Lord Saladin will have as an mm -hmm. inventory this mm -hmm. week uh, when the Iron Banner comes back up, and this week in the Bungie Weekly Update. I promise I'll tell you what that stuff is. So there are some elements here. Mm -hmm. Ten, huh? They're just. I, I noticed that they huh. they stand to attention when you walk up. So this is the Queen's Guard. Mm -hmm. Just another element to sort of create the living social world of Destiny. Yeah? Sure. Set mm -hmm. pieces. Yep. Where's the Queen at? Queen is safe and sound. I want to go look at her behind those doors. So check this out. Who's this guy? Where are we headed? Oh, down. We are headed down the, the, to, to the good brother. The candle. The candle room. You're immune to candles in the game, by the way. <laughs> yes, it, of doesn't, course. it just doesn't phase you. It's fine. Yeah. It's just solar energy. Man. Yeah. Okay. Good. A very low amount of solar. Solar energy. candles. Yeah. Solar candles. Perfect. Yeah. So this is Brother Vance. He is a disciple of Osiris. Mm -hmm. And uh, what role does he play in the what House of Wolves? He will be the uh, emissary of Trials of Osiris. He will be your guide. He will uh, be the person uh, you come to for rewards, um, to buy new uh, passages. Mm -hmm. um, we'll talk more about that, obviously, uh, uh, in the coming uh, coming twitches. But yeah, yeah. We have a whole reveal plan for the Trials of Osiris. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we'll delve deeply into uh, the details that will govern that competitive multiplayer special event. Okay. And uh, you can see that uh, there are different supplies here, different rewards. Uh, much like Iron Banner, there are even uh, consumables that affect the way the event plays out. Sure. How often does it, you say the event runs? It's uh, every weekend. Every weekend? Yep. Okay. Yeah, until the reset. So it starts Friday and then okay, uh, great. And then till, till Tuesday. That's fun. Mm -hmm. And as far as his gear and stuff, I guess we can't look at that. Just right. yet, his, right. his stock. You can look at it. I think. Uh, yeah, I oh, think and actually, no, it's not. No, there. we can't. It's, no. Uh, yeah, the stock doesn't refresh yeah. for some well, time. Yeah. Well, yeah. we'll get into the gear and, and some of the different perks and some of the tactical analysis of how that stuff performs when we actually enter the uh, trials of Osiris. When we actually participate in the next stream uh, okay. a week from now, 
we'll be here and uh, we'll send in triple. You could say I'm triple excited about it. Triple excited? Yeah. About triple yeah. excited to get wrecked? Yeah, I'm triple excited to get wrecked. And yeah, yeah he's going to be, I'm going to team with him because I don't want to lose. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, uh, so triple neck wreck, triple neck, triple neck, <laughs> triple neck, gross, yeah. Gross. yeah, triple neck, <laughs> like a multi headed hydra. Yeah, triple wreck is on an all pizza diet, so he's gonna be triple <laughs> neck TV by uh, probably next week. It'll be great, yeah, yeah, it's gonna yeah. be great, uh, yeah. Uh, as you can gather from our, our puns and our, our hint dropping here, uh, Triple yeah. Wreck will be here next week and we'll go into the trials of Osiris and uh, we'll see exactly what Brother Vance has in so store for us. I think uh, we've released some of the images of the gear, right? Which is, oh, yeah. I, I love it, it turned out amazing. Like, yeah. uh, obviously the Hunter gear is the best. Um, is it? But yeah, sure. Don't, let's not, let's <laughs> not. Looks like a mummy, it's got all the bandages. Warlock for life, Warlock for life. I, I Warlock see it, for I life. All of it. <laughs> uh, yeah, all of it makes you look like an Egyptian king, so it's pretty cool. Sure. Yeah. And uh, he's got the you know eye of Osiris on the floor here, so mm -hmm. he's got some he's got some fun and some riches in store for all of us. And uh, I'm going to back away slowly because he's obviously a badass. All right. Yeah. I mean, he's got a tablet. So <laughs> he's got what's on his tablet? This <laughs> is <laughs> the scores, the names of the winners. Yeah, it's just stuff rotating. Uh, all the nice. gear that he's yeah. going to have for you. So this place is a little bit of a mess, you know. Mm -hmm. Like the tower is this really nice manicured. Mm -hmm. paved in Disney place where you know you get to walk around and feel like humanity is all you know polished up despite the collapse of the golden age but talk to us a little bit about the art style of the reef because this really feels a lot more utilitarian to me uh, a little bit more functional and lived in so what's going on here yeah so the um, the reef is a very dangerous place um, it's full of uh, pirates and you know danger and uh, derelict spaceships you can see some of the uh, uh, broken ships out in the in the skybox um, so it's where the, uh, um, the Awoken live. So they've, uh, w with it being so dangerous out there and so uh, sort of hard to live, you've got a, you know, a little bit more uh, um, dangerous atmosphere we wanted to kind of to sell. So things mm -hmm. are a little bit darker, the music's a little bit moodier. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, it's a uh, place out on the outskirts. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Sell so that, that yeah. sort of. Uh, Has that outer rim feel. You know, the whole uh, House of Wolves really is about you know, bounty hunting guy, and uh, yeah. loot and mm -hmm. meaning, but you know, treasures from the from the queen. And so we really want to sell that kind of bounty hunter outlaw kind of out in the mm -hmm. out in the wilderness sort of hunting criminals and getting treasures kind of feel. So. Yeah, derelict spaceport. But uh, there are some familiar elements here. Welcome to mm -hmm. uh, we've got Missions the bounty tracker bot that has sent us out on so many evenings of uh, grinding and upgrading. Uh, are there going to be any fresh quests in this, or is it uh, sort of the same rotation of those and then the different bounties from Queen Dude over here? Well, the uh, the Queen the Queen Dude. The Queen uh, Dude. Petra. Pe Petra. I call Petra her Queen Dude. Queen, queen Dude, dude is fine. Yeah, that's yeah. going to stick now. Yeah, yeah it's going to be your That's going to be your yeah, effect. <laughs> uh, she knows telekinesis. She's juggling the knife, I noticed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which, you know, so why can't she go mind out? Mind bullets? And, yeah, why can't she go out and use mind bullets on people? <laughs> well, she, there's one you know, of she, her. She only has one eye, too, so yeah, her, exactly. her depth perception is just awful. Yeah, binocular yeah. vision is indicative yeah. of a hunting species. So sure. she needs, she, there's strength in numbers. Mm -hmm. uh, guardians could be useful. Okay. Um, so we want to make sure you could do all the things that you'd want to do. <laughs> Queen on Dude is stuck in chat now. Perfect. <laughs> Queen Dude. Queen Dude hype. Stop it. Stop <laughs> writing fiction. The abode de doges. So all the basic stuff we knew you'd want it to do, like all mm -hmm. the utility stuff, like pick up your bounties, uh, postmaster, vault, all that stuff's available. The um, vault is, is your vault, so it's not a separate vault. Correct. No. Nope. Yeah, so yep. Go ahead and look. You, yeah. Is that what you anticipate to see in there? That's what I anticipated to see in there are all of these weapons. Cool. And this, this second crux that I have for no reason. Look at nice. all that empty vault space. Yeah, look at, all, look at look how all big all that vault is. Space. I know, it's because I'm holding everything right track. now for Very good. It's good. It's good to be armed. Yeah, it is. So this is a self contained marketplace. We got, as you said, we got the bounty tracker, we've got the vault. So is there any reason to go back to the tower? Uh, there is absolutely a reason Welcome. to go back to the tower. Okay. And I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> uh, is there anything else you want to ask us about the reef? Um, I mean, is, are there going to be any areas that open up similar to, say, like the iron banana? <laughs> There might be. There might be okay. a few secrets in here. We don't want to reveal everything We don't want to reveal them just yet. Right. Is there a yep. ghost down on this beam down here? 
<laughs> oh no, is there a I ghost? don't know if there's a ghost. <laughs> did you did you already find? Yeah, achievement hunters, bam. <laughs> Whammy. Well done. Did it. Well done. And that's why we're spectating from my point of view, because none of you know where Guthrie is. Oh, oh, no, I'm on the beam. Beam. <laughs> Yep, yep. No, it looks but, uh, terrific. To and your question, you can die everywhere. it does feel like there are some rooms for expansion in the reef. So sure. You know, the, the world of destiny is always evolving and changing and reacting to your decisions. And, uh, you know, the reef is no different. So, okay, great. So, May 19th, Guardians, is when you can expect to uh, invade this space, make some new friends, make some new enemies. We're going to send you on some new adventures. A uh, whole new way to experience the Destiny Endgame. Through uh, Varix the Loyal. Yeah, um, the, as far as Endgame goes, you know, obviously Bring me a lot of people were upset about the announcement of uh, no raid mm -hmm. with House of Wolves. Yeah. Um, this is the Reef Guardian. You both played you uh, the Prison of Elders. Would normal. you say it's like a raid level activity, or is it going to be just shoot a bunch of guys like a lot of people say? So we want to make sure absolutely that there's a really fun, uh, challenging uh, mm -hmm. end game activity. Um, we want to add uh, multiple, uh, uh, both PVP and uh, PVE uh, right. this time. So there's a chance to get uh, end game gear and challenge uh, at that at that level um, like for for both activities. Um, oh, I, you know, we we, we want to make sure there's you know challenging that there's uh, um, you know variety. I think we've talked about as well challenge variety uh, skill. We want to make sure all that stuff's. Uh, is it something that's going to be stagnant and the same every time you play through it? Absolutely not. Nope. No. Awesome. That's so yeah, really that's one of the main goals. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's different Great. different every time you play. Um, and as we'll be talking about uh, coming up pretty soon, you'll uh, there'll be uh, interesting uh, changes each week as well. Okay, so there will be weekly changes to the arena, so that's... Yeah, it'll be a dynamic experience. When you say a raid level activity, that points to the Destiny Endgame. Yeah. There are many different components of the Destiny Endgame. Mm -hmm. you know, there are heroic strikes, there are nightfall strikes, there are things like Iron Banner. And uh, with the Prison of Elders, we are able to extend the Destiny Endgame to include a different type of experience. Uh, that's always been our goal. Always something new to do in Destiny. Super. What about Zhur? What about Zer? Is Zer? I always call him Zer. 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 And what about what about Zer? Um, is is he going to be coming over to the uh, the reef as Zer's well? Zer. He's a mysterious figure. There's only three things I'll confirm about Zer. Okay. Zer will arrive in a place at a cadence in which you can anticipate. Mm -hmm. Zer will have a bunch of stuff mm -hmm. that you can buy, mm -hmm. and you can decide if you mm -hmm. want to buy that stuff or not. Yeah. And Any you never other know where he's going to show up. Yep, exactly. So he can show up in, in the reef. He, he can do just about anything. Okay, so, oh, another ghost! Um, so stop, stop it. <laughs> sorry. Stop it. Um, so basically what you're saying is that people who do not purchase House of Wolves can go to the reef? All guardians are welcome in the reef. Yay! Yep. And that begs the question, is there going to be anyone left in the tower? Okay. And I'm going to send us to the tower. Sounds fun. To answer that question in ways that I hope will make people very happy. I hope so, too. Uh, there's been a lot of great work. I'm just going to go on record. I feel like there's been a lot of great work done on character progression and evolution in this game. Mm -hmm. um, while we enjoy the uh, familiar jaunt through orbit here, talk to us a little bit about the decision making and some of the conversations that happened around, at this moment in time, what do we do for Guardians? Sure. Uh, well, we wanted to make sure, uh, you know, just we took a took a look at the whole economy of the game. Yeah, we wanted to make sure we uh, kept things simple. You know, we've been adding new materials uh, uh, with each release, and uh, we just want to make sure that that uh, we didn't just keep adding, you know, five more material. You know, make things really complicated. So we wanted to, make, to try and simplify stuff, upgrade paths, sure. um, uh, adding new materials. Want to keep it as simple as possible, um, and sort of uh, um, make sure it was as understandable as possible as well. So we had a chance to kind of sit back, look at uh, people's feedback, look at uh, community's comments, um, mm -hmm. kind of what people were doing, and uh, um, yeah, like I said, uh, simplify it as, as much as we yeah. could. So we'll, you'll, you'll see a little bit of that. In, you were in talking about upgrade paths. Yep. And so what gear does that apply to? We are about to come in for a landing here. I would okay. rather show than say. So okay. let's jump right into it. Um, I really like the idea of, you know, a communication process with our community you know the fact that they're sharing with us their feelings about the game that has an impact on our development mm -hmm. process mm -hmm. um, are there members of the community that you listen to more than others 
<laughs> um, yeah, my, my, uh, I was playing with my dad last night. It's funny. Uh, um, he was asking all about like, you know, can he uh, upgrade his, uh, you know, Mythoclast, all that stuff. So uh, yeah. I told him to watch uh, uh, today. But uh, you said the that the Mythoclast is frozen in time, which did means I, did that I say it's, that it's stuck there forever. Did I say that the Mythoclast is frozen in time? Yeah. Of course, you know what they say about something that's frozen. It can thaw. It can be warmed up. <laughs> it can be warmed up. So uh, let's see, I have received a bounty. And my bounty is what? Your bounties are here. So in visiting the reef, I have acquired my first House of Wolves bounty. Uh, that's the way that we're going to send you through this experience. And while the reef is a self-contained environment that will support your adventure, help you acquire the bounties, the quests, and the missions that are gonna keep you fighting and playing, it's also going to equip you with some of the different rewards that you'll be earning and the different activities you'll enjoy. The tower has always been the place where we could come and outfit ourselves and uh, keep the evolution always, always happening. So no tower visit is complete without a visit to our fearless leader, the speaker. So I'm actually gonna start there. Hold on, you're going too fast. I'm, I'm running, <laughs> I'm running. I don't wanna keep your dad waiting. Uh, My dad never touches video games. I'm actually really impressed that you're able to play. How old is your dad? Can I He's uh, old enough. Old enough. <laughs> That's fun, very kind. Fun thing I just I noticed yeah. um, was looking at my black hammer. Yes. Um, and I noticed the hive disruptor buff is no longer grayed out. Is that being fixed? It may be. Was I not supposed to look at <laughs> no, that? No, you it's look there at anything for me you to want. look at. I There's so many things. There's yeah. so many things that I've had to uh, to brush up on. That's actually a detail mm -hmm. that has escaped me. So okay. once you open it up and see if you can upgrade that. I already did. I just I just filled out the bubble okay. for the hive disruptor <coughs> awesome. and upgraded it. Well, sounds like that's good then. Look at that. Look at that. You good just to upgraded go. your hive disruptor. Join me here in the speaker and go ahead and uh, go ahead and approach the speaker. Are you here with us? I am here with you. Yeah. So go ahead and, and take a look at uh, what Mr. Speaker is going to do for us now. Oh, geez. Um, uses for old stuff. Uses for old stuff. So one of the things that uh, Chris just told us about was simplifying the economy. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing that I've personally seen people talk about is uh, the desire to take materials and exchange them. So the Speaker is now doing that material exchange. So if I have... Uh, need ascendant shards and I have ascendant energy, I can acquire those things on a one for one basis. Sure. Mm -hmm. Same thing with energy or shards. This is awesome. Yeah, so well, there's two things you can do. You sort of can trade between uh, energy um, and uh, shards mm -hmm. for at the different uh, levels. Yep. And also you can turn any of that stuff in uh, for, uh, you know, as you can Molds look over it. Right, you can buy yeah. lots of light with it. You can I buy a glimmer. Uh, glimmer exactly. Ascendant ammo. shards can become a sh So like shards right. become, energy becomes shards, and shards become the thing that you can use to buy awesome stuff. So now you can exchange ascendant energies and shards for glimmer and things like that. Yep. Yes. You can just play the shell game with everything in your inventory. Yeah, so you uh, can move it to where you need it at the time being. Yep. Eris so and her economy is still relevant. Mm -hmm. You know, I can still yes. move that stuff back and just forth. The thing. That's really cool. I yep. didn't. I didn't see this when I was. You. You. You told me to stay out of the tower yep. when I was looking at I this. I wanted you to be a little surprised. I know. I. I, I didn't want this. Been. I didn't want this whole thing <laughs> to seem canned and staged. Yeah. No. Well, I tell me more, Dave. <laughs> so thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. And we're <laughs> out of here. Um, you oh. also told us that we should uh, pay a visit to Gans. Oh, yes. Going over here and talk to uh, the new monarchy. I personally uh, do not ascribe to new monarchy's politics. Oh, I like new monarchy. Do you? Yeah. yeah that's you know what? what? You're welcome to it, man. That's sure. what I've been wearing myself. All right. So here we have new monarchy weapons and gear. What would you tell us about this? Sure. Yeah. I want to make sure that uh, all the uh, all the vendors had new stuff and new stuff to acquire. So we did a refresh. Have uh, new uh, new uh, armor uh, for uh, each of the factions. So yeah. they have a full set. Um, there's also new, a full, full set of new weapons. He's uh, got that red hand nine in there now. Yep. Uh oh. That also, perk. Maybe uh, I should have looked at that perk. You can look at whatever you want. I'm not going to inspect it. You're not going to inspect it? Okay. Let's see. Let's see how you that guys be going. happy about this one. <laughs> I didn't know about this one. That was great. We also uh, want to make sure not all the guns were just uh, recolors of existing ones. Sure. So you'll notice uh, it was the uh, fall, uh, faction gear. Uh, those are brand new. Uh, there's uh, there's new perks too. Yep. That's pretty. That's so a, that's a that's pretty a brand gun. new yeah. machine gun uh, that's up on the screen now. Wow. What else? What else? Do, what else do you like? I'm I'm just the looking over this, this new this new uh, these new perks here and also something that I'm 
It's gonna shut up about for the next that's couple nice minutes. That's nice and pretty. That's yeah, it is that's super cool. pretty. It's nice. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, the ratings on this stuff. What were you saying before about pea shooters, bullet hoses? Um, yeah, the uh, the auto rifles were mostly nil impact, high fire rate. The yeah. Vindicator looks like it's still pretty low impact, but that's always yeah been. Wait, that's new. That's a new weapon, isn't it? Or I saw a request to uh, inspect uh, one of the the pistol. I think. Yeah. Well, okay. The, the hand cannon. Before I before I do move to the pistol, I just want to tell everyone at home that this is not the way to build your guardian. The way I'm dressed right now, people are going to look at you and they're going to say, "Pick a side." Pick so a side. If you're yeah. wearing dead orbit robes <laughs> and a new monarchy <laughs> helmet, you're just going to look like a jerk who can't commit. Don't be that guy at home. Pick yeah, a it, faction. It does look like the armor pieces are um, reskins of last season's. Um, primary armor pieces. Are there new stuff at like uh, the Vanguards and Crucible for this season? Funny you should ask. I know. So I let's uh, take and a break how? from Executor Hideo. Sure. And uh, we're going to uh, we're going to take a little jaunt. Why don't you lead the way? I'm going. Let's go check in with Shax. I'm very fast right now. I'm like Sonic. That's Sonic. Like Sonic. That's that's, that's Sonic. just a clever mispronunciation. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's a clever mispronunciation. That. Did you miss the jump? No, I was waiting for you. I was oh, going to trick you. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> All right, so here we are down in the den of the Crucible. Okay. Uh, I'm going to approach Lord Shax. Crucibles. Oh, this is new looking. Yeah, he's got a lot of nice stuff here. What new troubles have you Now, uh, because uh, Chris and I have played, okay. we've actually got some of this stuff. Okay. So, Chris, let's uh, real quick, let's play Dolly Dress up here. I'm going to go buy some stuff down here. Yeah, go ahead and buy some stuff. Everyone, yeah. everyone. Be fabulous. I'm, I'm going to Zavala down here. Zavala. Zavala. Awesome. Oh, wait. What can I give you, Gotti? I have no Vanguard marks. I'm awful. <laughs> I think I spent them all on upgrade materials. No. All right, well, do you have a, did we give you anything in your inventory? Nope. Yeah, you got some. No? OK, keep okay. going. Uh, but yeah, there's all new, uh, all I'm new sets for. You look great. Stuff for myself. Yeah, no, 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 no. I'm gonna watch on your screen. Right. No one can see my screen. It's irrelevant. No, no, no. Check it out. So there's uh, yeah, full new sets for uh, all three classes. Sure. Uh, both Vanguard and Crucible. Okay. Check out the Vanguard in a few minutes. And uh, yeah, Ikora has also outfitted me with some fancy new stuff. Mm -hmm. I have a secret crush on Ikora. I do whatever she tells me to do. Now, what level can the uh, the new now, all of this Here, stuff, if I go two. through and I upgrade this stuff, this will take me up to, through endgame activities and other things, level 33, sure. level 34, if I play enough of the endgame. Yep. Uh, let's talk about upgrades. Sure. Uh, good logical extension. Um, yeah. Before we do that, I'm going to come here to the Crucible Quartermaster. Let's check out some of these new guns. Okay. So, new guns, new perks. Uh, let's check out some of the models. I want you to tell me what you want me to buy here. Um, I would it's like you sweet looking a Crucible scout. Quartermaster. Yep. I would like you to buy a... I would like you to buy a Hard Luck Charm. And that would be... The Shotgun. The Shotgun. I'm a lover of shotguns too. I am. So I now have a brand new House of Wolves weapon. Okay. Uh, I still have an inventory. Let's come back up out of the bowels here. It's a lovely evening in the tower, and uh, you know we'll have some some better light that we can use to uh, enjoy this new stuff. So let's take a look at my inventory. Uh, this is uh, an inventory that was built for me in a test environment. So immediately I'm going to go on record and say that there are things in this inventory that do not belong to me. Mm -hmm. uh, this is all here for illustration purposes only. However, uh, I have old exotics that I love. Sure. I have dark below weapons that I love. I even have launch day weapons that I love. I've been hanging onto that shadow price since the game launched. Okay. All right, so if I want to upgrade these things, I need something called etheric light. Where do we get that? Etheric light comes from uh, the Endgame activity, so you can get it from Prisoner of Elders, you can get it from Trials of Osiris, and also there's a chance in Nightfall and in Iron Banner. Okay, so even if you don't own the DLC, you can still upgrade your old stuff yeah, to absolutely. new stuff. Yep. yep. We're, okay. we're bringing people along, even if uh, okay. the Queen's Wrath is not compelling enough for them to crave revenge. 
So oh. you're still going to be able to get up to light level 34 without touching the DLC. Right. Mm -hmm. Might take a little longer, but Might, yeah. yeah. Yep. Might take a little longer. It's going to be a lot less fun. Check that out. 365. 365 shadow price. What else would we like to upgrade? Sound off in chat right now. I am now taking requests so that I can prove that we're going to upgrade your favorite weapon. I'm Shut looking at chat right now. And you want, you want to see the Mythoclast? I want to see the Mythoclast. Okay. Uh, this Mythoclast does not belong to me. There are many like it. This one is not mine. Okay. So I have not upgraded this Mythoclast. The one that I have belongs to me. Oh, you're out of weapon parts. That's unfortunate. Yeah. Oh, man, that's Actually, I, I stored my weapon parts because I needed room for all this Why don't you just inspect my class okay. that I'm about to put on? Okay, here we go. Where are you? Are you stand I'm standing right next to you. So I filled out that bubble. Yep. And it now looks like my Mythoclast has thawed and is now a 365 Mythoclast, which is awesome. Also, you may have noticed it did not reset all your progression. It did not reset my progression. <laughs> nice. Look at that. So, so obviously, you're not going to start off with um, having these materials. You're going to have to get them. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. a lot of people are probably watching. They're like, that was so easy. Yep. You know, I'm going to run out of content really quick. You still have to go get your You still have to get it, meaning yep. you're going to have to do the, yep. the everything, just yep. the everything. But once you get that, as you know, was mm -hmm. just said, your mythoclast is ready to rock. Yeah, so the chances of just jumping in and immediately being level 34 is uh, not possible. Right. 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 That's right. Cool. So, is same the, thing um, can be done to... Prison of Elders going to be immediately unlocked? Uh, in order to, like anything in the Destiny Endgame, in order yeah. to play the Prison of Elders, you have to finish the story. Okay. Yep. Cool. You've got to become legend, as they say. Yeah. The people right. are clamoring for that Fatebringer. Fatebringer! Do you have weapon parts now? Uh, I don't need weapon parts. I need spinny oh, metal. Spinny yeah. metal. Oh. And there's a 365 Fatebringer. Uh, let's see. Is the Gallerhorn still relevant? I'm looking at you, Spider. The Gallerhorn is, in fact, still relevant. This one has not been upgraded. There are many like it. This one is not mine. Mm -hmm. But as you can see here, anybody who is holding a fully upgraded Gallarhorn and has few weapon parts and an exotic shard and enough glimmer laying around can upgrade that Gallarhorn. So Galarhorn. we don't need Zer anymore for upgrading exotics. Correct. Correct. We can do it whenever we dang yep. please. Yep. Although Zer will sell you shards. Shards. Yep. Yeah. So you may need to go to Zer to buy shards. You may okay. need to go to Zer to buy weapons that you can then shard. So mm -hmm. there are still things for you to do and to aspire for and to hope for. Um, so yeah, so every uh, legendary weapon, uh, piece of armor in the game can now be uh, upgraded. So awesome. find any release. So awesome. Including my very favorite legendary belt fed heavy machine gun. I'm actually going to enjoy this a lot. The Deviant what Gravity perks do you have on What perks do I have on mine? I, uh, this is one I like. I, I like to expect to find more okay. ammo for this so weapon. So far, we're, lo um, we're looking similar. Yeah, that's badass. Although yours is uh, yours is void instead of arc, but I'm very happy that I'm going to have my fallen captain mm -hmm. killer. Uh, yeah. I've actually used this already to take down some nasty villains. Take a look at that shotgun you just bought, actually. Okay. Uh, so let's equip that. That's got a couple new perks on it. So oh, nasty. What do we what have is that above uh, Ascension over there? Reforge ready. Reforge ready. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, the gunsmith can reforge this weapon. Right. Change so. its available upgrades, but resetting any progression or ascension. So yeah, you'll be able to, uh, with the new uh, uh, House of Wolves weapons, be able to uh, reforge them, which is pretty cool. Okay, so not my existing legendaries, but if I buy new legendaries from the Vanguard, from the Crucible, from yep. my favorite faction, Correct. I can then come here to the gunsmith. He's going to allow me to reforge weapons. I do not have weapon parts. Know. Just, just dismantle some <laughs> here stuff. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> just here we go. I'm not going to dismantle some. Run just, all the way to the vault. Just dismantle some just stuff. Just dismantle things. Just dismantle some stuff. You have 270 in there. You're good. And take. There you go. Did that give me? Let me take a look at my inventory. Chat is losing it. Are over they the losing it? Oh, they're losing it over reforging. Nice. Reforging's going to be cool. So a lot of people are hush like that. Sleep in the living tree. All right. I can't help but notice he also has Talims. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he has Talims now. It, yep. That's cool. So I am acquiring a reforging. You know what you All right. So we need to do this until we get. Uh, shot package. Well, I don't know. If we're, we're not going to be here till Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> so I have Linear Compensator, I have Replenish, I have Speed Reload, and I have Army of One. Let's try it again. Okay. 
Acquiring. Are you sure you're acquiring? Yes, I'm acquiring. Go. Thanks. Open character. Back to the shoddy. It looks nasty. I mean, it looks like... Yeah, that's... And there's a lot of new perks, too. It looks like noticing. I would use that yeah. to, like, actually hold up the new monarchy better. Sure. That's, that's a bad man's shotgun. Rangefinder. Speed reload. Cascade. You get the idea. Yeah. You can do this all day until you run out of motes of light, until you run out of gun parts. And when you take a look at the stuff that we're asking you to spend, it's the stuff that a lot of people have in reserve. Yeah. So that's going to be a good use for some of the things that you might have been stockpiling. Uh, we knew that was going to make a lot of people happy, I and it's a lot of fun so to show it off. Next time. That is awesome. There is a lot of upgrades for uh, old raid gear and stuff, which to me kind of makes the old raids a lot more relevant yep, than absolutely. if we were just moving on. And um, as a new player, a lot more approachable because you'll have two sources to get your gear from Indeed. in order to, to level up. Mm -hmm. And all of sources, those things yeah. apply here. So yeah. gloves of the heads and lords, vault of glass gear, you can ascend. Yeah. Uh, let's come take a look at... Uh, and all of, all of your resources are relevant with the exchange over at the, uh, the speaker now, too. Yep. That's yep. awesome. Yep. So is there anything in your inventory that you feel would go to waste or sit on the shelf? Take a look at your inventory. Not really, because I can exchange, you know, my ascendants, which I have a thousand ascendant shards, basically. You have three thousand six hundred and fifty-one weapon parts. Yeah, I'm gonna use those. You're gonna use those. Yep. Yeah, I need to make weapons to, you know, something. <laughs> another uh, another cool part of this is that now uh, everybody at the uh, you know at the maximum level is going to look different, which is yeah, pretty cool. That's like great. Yeah, that's great. Some people are going to be running around in uh, you know uh, vault of glass people... gear, some iron banner gear. Like, are you uh, familiar with uh, um, trans mogging in yep. Blizzard games? Sure. Yep. Sure. Constant constant feedback on our forum. People yeah. love a trans mod system. So this is basically that. I mean, since all the gear can be at the top level, mm -hmm. you can just left. You can just. Well, send it. we're not yep. taking, you know, features and attributes from one gear and allowing you to apply it to another. Right, what we exactly. are doing is making everything relevant that you can enjoy. I've got to check out. A lot of people are asking about the Glimmer Cap, and, you know, I've never been someone who really feels like a higher Glimmer Cap is super necessary. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But um, is that something you guys have considered, or is it basically like if you're English. capping your Glimmer all the time, mm -hmm. then mm -hmm. why aren't you spending it type right. thing? Especially now with the new... You know, yeah, right. yeah. Right. New sinks for it and stuff. Yeah, and new exactly. There's a lot yeah. more sinks for your old materials, and your old materials can become mm -hmm. glimmer. So Indeed. is that even necessary? Indeed. Yeah, we're definitely always like, I mean, we're always looking at that stuff, looking at people's feedback, sort of keeping an eye on what, uh, um, you know, things like caps and mm -hmm. different materials and whatnot. So we're always kind of evaluating that stuff. Um, sure. As you see with our uh, patches, you know, we try and address, you know, you the say. most important of those as they come up. So um, if that proves to be a an issue, I'm sure. Uh, right. Uh, yeah. Were we able to reach into the mind of our investment designers, we could probably yeah. answer that question with much greater detail. Okay. But, uh, yeah, I can tell you that that piece of feedback has landed. Uh, it's just a matter of how does player feedback match up with our own experiences, our own learnings in mm -hmm. playing the game, you know, because we are fans of our own game, right. you know, and what are our goals for the overall experience? Are there any new ghost shells? Not at this time. Ah. Not at this time. We're being pretty giving today. Okay. Okay. Uh, not 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 today, guys. We're not. <laughs> yep. And uh, you know what? I feel I feel in order to be completely honest here, this is not my galler horn. Mm -hmm. I did not earn this galler That's horn. That's rude. I'm going to dismantle it okay. as a gesture of honesty sure. and goodwill. Okay. Now I have shards. And I got some weapon parts. You've been and really I got low on this. I need, I need <laughs> weapon parts. So until everyone has an opportunity to own a Galler horn, I will not accept one. Sure. And that is my promise to the community. Um, Plus, I don't need one because I have a Thunderlord, and that's really a more skilled weapon anyway. What's yep. Bungie's stance on player trading? Player trading. Player trading. It's something we've thought about. We've, I mean, we've been talking about player trading ever since you know the pros and cons mm -hmm. of it ever since the uh, you know beginning of time. So yeah. it's something where you know. There's downsides to it, you know, um, right, and yeah. there's upsides. So I'm not a huge proponent of it, but yeah. I just it's some, I, I, because I feel like it would take away a lot of the end game if your buddy yeah. could just hand you everything. But yeah, exactly. a lot of people ask so about it, so obviously push. I want to know your thoughts on it and try to stay as yeah, sure. neutral as possible. Yeah, I mean the investment designers like um, there are a lot of conversations I'm sure that happen about that. We're always uh, you know, considering features like that. Personally, uh, I, I prefer not to have. Uh, yeah, um, player trading, but yeah, I again, agree with you. you'll get different opinions, you know, I, yes, across the I entire do, yeah. team. Yeah, yeah. I, I wouldn't remember, go right unless I ask, guys. I have to ask. Yeah. Well, and I remember, you know, the time I I have pined for a Thunderlord for mm -hmm. a long time, 
uh, I used this gun on stage in front of people for a week at Gamescom. Okay. And I thought, this gun is so awesome. Uh, this is fully upgraded at home on this test build. It is not. I'm going to be able to upgrade this thing to 365. I'm going to keep it with me. I acquired my Thunderlord after a Crucible match. I was playing a game with Datto and Leopard Stealth. Did you have a high score? And uh, I did not have the high score, but, but I, held my, I held my own. Okay. I held my own. Did I was you, there. Were you positive I thought I had maybe a 0.83 KD, okay, which is good for me. Okay, that's not 0.82, not, so you're... <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, yeah, it's 0 0.01 better than... Yeah, exactly. So but I, I got my Thunderlord. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, and I can always, you know, if somebody says, "How'd you get that?" I'm like, "Ask Datto. We were in the Crucible. Mm -hmm. I won it. I was very happy." Uh, but if that story ended up being Datto gave it to me, then yeah, that's yeah, it's less interesting for me. Uh, there are people who will disagree with me. There are people who have five Galar horns, and they have a friend who has zero Galar horns, and they would like a trading system. Is there a uh, cap on etheric light that you can earn in a week, like there is Vanguard marks, or is it basically if you're lucky enough to get a whole crap load of it, then you're good? There's no cap that I'm aware of. No cap that we are aware of. Cool. Yeah, but there are activities that you can run only so many times throughout the course of a week. But there's right. Exactly. So there's so there's a weekly reset on, right. on yeah. the arena. Trials of Osiris is just on the weekend. Yep. Obviously, you can only do your nightfalls. If you if Iron it was Banner, a weekend yeah. and you played Iron Banner and Trials of Osiris, I mean they might relap. Iron Banner usually lasts mm -hmm. a full week. Sure. But. Um, if uh, you know, if Iron Banner and Trials of Osiris, and you played the Nightfall, and you were doing your Prison of Elders, you could hit the Mother Load. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. Anyway, I think I think I hit all of the uh, the hot button questions. The hot burning oh, questions. Yeah. All right. Well, then there's nothing left to do but to slow walk the tower. <laughs> Did we want to check out uh, maybe the uh, Dead Orbit weapons or? You know, I, I gave it a look. I want the player to have something that they can inspect That's and enjoy true. for themselves. All right. I'm going to be the bad cop right now. <laughs> Everyone can remember that Christopher Barrett wanted to expose all the riches of the I power did. to you, and Deej said no. I wanted to show you the new war, uh, exotic uh, armor, okay. all that stuff. But I'll are tell you gonna, the. Are uh, we going to be talking about third subclasses anytime soon in the future? There is a future for Destiny, and we'll be talking about all of it in the future. But not today. It is not this day. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think, uh, you know, before we overstay our welcome, uh, we're just going to say that we're really looking forward to all of you playing mm -hmm. the House of Wolves on May 19th. All of this will be available to all of you. Uh, if you've been watching this Twitch stream, uh, we thank you. Uh, our chat room is running a mile a minute. Mile a minute. So, yeah. you know, if you're used to getting a shout out, uh, I can't even pick out any of your names right yeah, now. Yeah, for, so. for everybody shouting raid in chat, we had a brief discussion about um, the choice to, to have a new activity that we can't really talk about yet, nope. but is raid tier difficulty. Mm -hmm. um, and I guess okay. I guess you guys could have technically called it a raid, but it wasn't really a raid. But no, it's still, setting it's still expectations was pretty important. So you guys yeah. will find out in a couple weeks about that. I wish I could talk about it now, yep. but. No, that will be yeah. that, that responsibility be will fall home. to another. You'll be, <laughs> you'll be at home, hopefully watching the stream. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, please tune in this time next week, mm -hmm. or this time an hour ago next week. We're going to be doing this week over week until the House of Wolves launches. Next week we're going to be with Triple Wreck. We'll see you soon, Triple Wreck. We're going to be playing the Trials of Osiris, and then a special celebrity guest who is yet to be named will be entering the Prison of Elders with us the following week. So Wednesdays are pretty important until the House of Wolves comes out. Uh, I'm Deej from Bungie, joined by Christopher Barrett. Thanks, guys. Joined by King Gathalion. It's been a pleasure. Your Highness. Shut up. <laughs> that is all for now. Thank you again so much for watching, and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>